Wow, it's Saturday, October 3rd, 2020. <laughs> Today is my and John's 28th wedding anniversary. Anniversary, anniversary. We were gonna go to Cape Cod today, but we put it off because this guy, I'm about to get him up. This guy decided he was gonna not feel good and um, yeah, he's been sick for a week. Mm. Last Sunday he started a fever. It's kind of been coming and going all week. Um, he seems like he's feeling better right now because he's laughing and he's talking and that's a nice change from just being lethargic and not doing much. I'm gonna go get some fresh air, I think. It's a crisp, cool fall day. Not like my wedding day. My wedding day was October 3rd, it was 80 degrees. Sunny, pretty leaves, but colder. I mean, hotter, <laughs> I'm saying. Anyway, John and I are just kind of like, whatever. We had some, some other, not in this house, but some other family stuff last night, and he was just like, oh my God, it's so stressful. Well, anyway, that's what's happening. Everything gets all jumbled because I have nursing and therapy services, so I have to, you know, tell everyone we're not going to be here. But then now we are going to be here. So, yeah, I'm still trying. If Daniel wasn't sick, I would we would go and see some things, enjoy what what the Cape looks like in the fall. Look at your camera. All right, I got to get him up. He's laying flat, looking at me like, Mom, what are you doing? So we got up for a little while, didn't we? We called the doctor. We went outside. The men are here fixing up. They're fixing up the last details on Daniel's special sidewalk. I just demonstrated for the owner of the landscaping company. I walked Daniel down the sidewalk up onto the deck and I started to cry because I felt so emotional. I'm like, this is just so wonderful. Like, you have no idea. It's like, it's just so nice. They did it for no cost. Yeah. Anyway, Daniel's fussy now, so look at my boy. Okay, we're getting your we're getting your stuff, okay? I'm getting your getting your lift ready, okay? He's leaning and crying. Alright. The doctor said to watch him for a little while longer or bring him into the hospital if I want to. So uh, he was doing pretty good for a while. So I decided just to kind of give it one more night. He doesn't seem to be in any distress, really. Uh, just fever. Chances are if he's still not doing better, I'll go to Yale in the morning. It will be Sunday, which won't be fun, but I'd rather go in the morning than right now, which is like five o'clock. And then I'd be up all night sitting in there. I want to, I do what I have to do. If he has to go, he has to go. But it's about a half hour drive. Okay, bye. All right, sick guy. Put all your meds on board. Good night, sweetie. Try to go to sleep. Turn the lights off. Oh, so tired. Mm -hmm. Uh, it turns out Daniel has a urinary tract infection. We've been at the hospital for hours. They gave him some Keflex, but we had a whole full sepsis workup. So this thing's all sweaty. My mask is like soaked. So I'm just waiting for the van now. I'm in New Haven at Yale. Thank God we don't have to stay. I didn't want to stay anyway. He had 101 point.
five fever just now. We gave him uh, uh, ibuprofen. Mm. Right? Say hi. Say hello. Mm. Hello. I'm feeling better. I'm going home. Good job. <sighs> I'm so glad we came in because we didn't know what he had, but seven days of fever was way too long for Daniel. So thank God. We're still waiting for some cultures to come back. But the the UTI was very crystal clear that it was there and it was bad. And if I didn't come in now, it would have gotten really bad. So, whew. and he didn't have any symptoms of a typical UTI, so. Doing better. Hi guys. I am just checking in on Monday, Monday morning at 11.43 a.m. I'm picking up Daniel's Keflex, Keflex at CVS because he needs to be on a different antibiotic for his urinary tract infection. And that's it. Feeling a little stressed out, but feeling okay. Beautiful day. Got myself a Starbucks. Got the perfect co-pilot here. He's being literally an angel. Yeah. And John's at home working. My nurse leaves at one o'clock, so I don't have much time to be out and about. Fall is absolutely gorgeous right now. It's like the leaves are colorful and perfect. Will we be going to the Cape to enjoy fall at the seashore? I hope so. I just don't know because, um, you know, we've got some issues with People not feeling well in our family, not my house, other places. You know what I mean? I don't know. Sandwich generation, let me just say that. Very hard. Very hard to watch people grow old. We're doing the best we can with the resources we have. So it is October, what is it? What the heck is it? October 4th, 5th, 5th. We didn't do anything really for our anniversary at all. It's kind of a dud. And I feel sad about that because it should be more than a dud. But that's all right for now. Why are you hot? Yeah, it's so cold outside. Are you hot? Are you good boy? He's so good today. Usually he gives me a hard time or he tries to get on my lap, but he's just he's sitting there in the car seat, in the seat belt thing, just looking at me, smiling. Grateful I took him and not his sister. He's a little spoiled. Okay, I'm going to pick up the meds and head back home. So I just wanted to say hello. Daniel's doing okay. He's kind of grumpy, but his fever's gone this morning. So, yay. Finally. chipmunks come out of this hole so we need to fix this board see this hole <laughs> that's the only thing that's a problem we will repair it paint it and take it from there right Henry deck looks great come on Holly this way good girl what are you guys doing huh what are you doing good boy the grass is so green Hi. 